Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a drugstore holiday makeup tutorial. It was very easy, very affordable. I honestly, I love this look. I was creating it and I was like, yeah! So this is going to be a full face tutorial. So the only thing that I didn't do that wasn't part of this tutorial is my brows. So if you guys want a brow tutorial, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want that. Only if you want that. So let me know. We are also going to be using the November Morphe Me brushes. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on my beauty Instagram, which is at SpiffedUp. This is the username right here. You guys can go and check out some other looks that I've created. The face details for this makeup look will be there as well. And a little instant tutorial. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's just get started with this drugstore holiday makeup tutorial. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our foundation. Today I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in number 7 Sand. And I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation as well in shade 228. So I'm going to mix these two together, but honestly, if you just want to use one, both are great. And I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Complexion Sponge. I'm going to just stipple that all over. Alright, so next I'm going to conceal and I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 25 medium. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers and if you've been on my channel for a while, you guys know that I constantly use this in my tutorials. I'm taking that a little bit into the inner corner as well because that's going to help to brighten up the eyes. And I'm kind of taking it all the way down up to my nostril and then taking it past like my brow where my tail ends on the brow. I'm taking a little bit in between my brows and then drawing a line down the bridge of my nose. Keep it to two dots on my chin. So I'm going to take the same beauty sponge from Real Techniques and I'm taking the other end because it's going to be a lot thinner and slimmer to fit right into the crevices of my eyes. And I'm just going to be pressing that in. I'm not rubbing. Don't rub. Always press. Alright, so so far you should have something like this. So I'm just going to be using a drugstore highlighter today and my favorite one right now at the moment is the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. To apply that I'm going to be taking my Morphe M310 brush and boom. And boom. I freaked out with this highlighter because I didn't think it was going to be super pigmented. I'm going to sneak a little bit more in there. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in with that beauty sponge and kind of blend out everything. Sometimes things may crease if you don't set them fast enough so just make sure to do a quick little blend. We're going to be taking everyone's favorite drugstore setting powder. This is the Airspun Translucent Powder. This is an extra coverage. To apply that, I'm going to be taking the Morphe E3 brush. I like to take a little bit more of that translucent powder and my beauty sponge and I'll go ahead and start a little bake going on. And this method is just going to ensure that any of the oils that are starting to form, like if you're super, super oily in your T-zone, you can go ahead and just place this and put an over excessive amount of translucent powder. That way the oils don't start to produce. I'm taking this on top of that nose highlight just because it'll help to kind of simmer it down but still keep it looking glowy. Taking this right underneath my contour, even though we haven't contoured yet, this is just going to clean it up before we even do it. Alright, so while this is kind of like setting onto my face, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my brows off camera. But just to let you guys know, I am going to be using the NYX Brow Gel and Espresso. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and take the November Morphe Me brushes today. We're going to contour our face using them. If you're not already subscribed to the Morphe Me brush subscription, it's a $20 brush subscription with Morphe brushes and Live Glam. And they collaborated to create this and I think it's really awesome because you get brushes that are valued over $30 for just $20. And you already know, the link will be in the description box down below. So to contour our face today, I'm going to be taking my favorite drugstore contour palette. So this is the e.l.f. contour palette here. And this is just going to have four different shades here, but I mainly just use these two, and sometimes I'll use this one. So we're going to take the first brush, which is the M528 brush, and I'm going to dig into this shade right here. And I like this brush because it's nice and tapered. So this is really just going to help to carve out your cheekbones. And I'm focusing this on the hollow at the highest point and then on my temple. Circular motions is always important, and then just going back and forth, but also keeping that circular motion. Onto my jawline. So next I'm going to be mixing both of these shades together. I'm going to be taking the second brush. I'm going to be taking the second brush, which is the Morphe M551 brush. And this is very similar to the M527 from Morphe as well, but I'm going to be taking these two shades together. Just because I ain't got no time to be using different shades. And I'm just going to keep doing those circular motions. And if you forget any of the face details, they will be on my Instagram, so go and check that out. Once again, that is at Spiffed Up. I'm going to take the last brush that we received in the November Morphe Me package, and it's the M517 brush. So I'm going to take this as my nose contour brush today. And I'm just going to be mixing both of the shades together. And very lightly sculpting out my nose. I'm going to go back in with my beauty sponge and kind of help to blend out those harsh lines. 
For blush today, I'm going to be taking the Milani Luminoso blush and kind of just putting that on top of the highlight and mixing that in with the bronzer. Alright, so now that the face is done, we're going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. So I'm going to be taking this NYX brush set. This is going to come with an eyeshadow palette, a gel liner, and a matte lipstick. So I'm really excited to be using this. I picked this up at Ulta, and it was only $21. And the set, by the way, is called Brighter Days. Alright guys, so since we already primed our eyes with the translucent powder and the concealer, so I'm going to be taking my Morphe M330 brush. This is my favorite blending brush ever. And I'm going to be picking up this shade right here, and then this shade right there. And honestly, I'm just going to be kind of mixing together. So I like it because it's nice and pointed at the end on this brush so it really fits well into the crease and it helps to define it really nicely. So you just want to work in circular motions and help to really diffuse those colors. Honestly this palette is super super blendable. I was kind of nervous to kind of use this palette. I was like it's probably gonna be patchy and just like not super pigmented but honestly these are some really pretty shades. Next I'm picking up my MUA Professional 315 brush. This is a crease brush and I picked this up at CVS. I know that that's where they sell the brand at. I don't know if they sell it at every single CVS, but this is the MUA Professional brand. So I'm going to be picking up this shadow right here and we're going to be putting that onto the outer V. I like to focus it right where the outer V kind of starts. So right here. I'm gonna drag that into midway into the crease, but not fully. I'm gonna go back in with that M330 brush and we're just gonna buff that out. So I'm gonna be taking this flat shader brush right here and I'm gonna be picking up this red shade here and I'm just gonna be putting that onto my lower lash line. And make sure to tap off the excess shadow just so that there's not that much fallout. So this is gonna add like a nice pop of color and kind of vamps up the look a little bit. I keep packing this on more and more because I really want this like maroonish red to stand out. So I will say really quickly in that little gift set, the NYX eyeliner that comes with it is not the best for the waterline. I was trying to like really get it pigmented and it was just not cooperating with me. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in the color Onyx. And I'm bringing this into the inner corner here because it's really going to define it. I'm taking it a little bit outside of the waterline just to kind of smoke out the black and the maroonish red shade. And then I'm going to go back in with that flat top shader brush and just kind of blend those two together more. So to get this shadow right here on my lid very, very pigmented, I went ahead and I took the NYX Glitter Glue Primer. And I'm just going to be picking up any shader brush and I'm just going to be packing that onto my lid. And then for the star of the show, I'm going to be picking up this shadow right here. This is just a nice silvery shadow. It looks different in the pan, but whenever you swatch it, it looks like this. I'm going to be taking that same shader brush to apply this shadow, and you're going to see how pigmented this shadow is. I'm like, this shadow is everything. Oh my god. That glitter glue and the shadow combined, oh my gosh, it's like gorgeous. I'm going to go back in with my 330 brush and blend out those edges. For liner, I'm going to be taking my NYC Liquid Liner. This has no writing on it, but it's the matte black shade. And I'm going to create a small little baby wing. So I like to start in the inner corner and drag the liner out. And then I'll quickly just kind of flick through. Now, if you feel that you went like a little too far, you can definitely take like a little Q-tip. And kind of shorten that. So for lashes today, I'm going to be taking the Vegas Nail Lashes by Eyler, and they are the Grand Glamour Lashes. So for mascara today, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. I'm going to be applying a very light coat onto my lashes just to make sure that they're nice and blended. Uh, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Got to make sure that it's nice and set in place. Take this onto my lower lashes. And you know what? I always forget the brow highlight. So I'm taking the same shadow that we took on our lid area and I'm going to apply that uh, with my M133 brush. And I love this brush because it fits perfectly in my brow bone area. So for lips today, I'm going to be taking the lipstick that comes with the gift set. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Honey, I believe. Honey? Is that the name? Honeymoon. And before that dries down, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the NYX Liquid Suede and Sandstorm. I'm going to be mixing that together. Alright, and that completes the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel here. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!